there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Have you ever visited a firehouse to see what firefighters do? Some say yes, and some no, Bear. Well, firefighter Pete the Cat is asking if you'd come along with his class to the Cat Firehouse. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if someone will need rescuing. Let's go. Pete the Cat, Firefighter Pete by James Dean. We are going on a class trip today, says Principal Nancy. She leads the class to a bright yellow bus. Everyone climbs on board. I wonder where we are going, says Pete. They are going to visit the firehouse today. The bus parks next to the bright red firehouse. Pete and his classmates are excited. The firehouse is huge. It's so big it can hold two long red fire trucks and all of the firefighters equipment. The firefighters show the kids around. They give everyone a turn to ring the old brass fire bell outside the firehouse. Then all the kids take turns sliding down the firefighters pole. Whee! Callie yells as she glides down. The firefighters allow the kids to try on their gear. Firefighters wear a lot of equipment. First, Pete puts on the heavy black overalls. Then he steps into the tall black boots. A firefighter helps Pete put on the heavy yellow jacket. Finally, they place a hard black helmet on Pete's head. All this gear is very heavy. Pete can barely move. The firefighters allow the kids to explore one of the fire trucks. Callie sits in the driver's seat. She presses the horn. Bert! It's so loud that all the kids cover their ears. Then, Pete turns on the sirens and lights. The sirens blare. Woo-wee, woo-wee. The lights flash red and yellow. Suddenly, a loud bell rings in the firehouse. Oh no, it's the fire alarm. There's a fire in town. Gear up, Pete. The firefighters scramble into their gear very quickly. Pete puts on his gear too. They all climb aboard the fire truck and turn on the siren and lights. Firefighter Pete and the firefighters are on their way. Woo wee, woo wee. The fire engine races through town and the lights flash round and round. A firefighter presses the horn. Brrrt. All the other cars move out of the way. There's the fire. It's hot and loud, but the firefighters know exactly what to do. They work together as a team to connect the fire truck to the fire hydrant. Then the firefighters also attach a long, heavy hose to the truck. Firefighter Pete gives the signal, and the firefighters turn on the water. Whoosh! The water gushes out very fast. Several firefighters must hold the hose to control it. Pete helps direct the hose as they spray the fire with water. The fire is starting to go out. There is smoke everywhere. Suddenly, Pete hears yelling from the roof. 
Oh no! It's Grumpy Toad! He needs to be rescued! The firefighters raise a long ladder from the truck. Crank, crank, crank. The ladder goes up and up and up. Firefighter Pete and another firefighter help Grumpy Toad climb down the ladder carefully. Yay! The fire is out and everyone is safe. The firefighters drive back to the firehouse. They take off all their gear. They pat Pete on the back and say, Good job, Pete! Firefighter Pete helps save the day. Bear's wondering, do you think Grumpy Toad will want to give Pete a big thank you? Yes. Bear's saying, what a rescue. That was close. Bear's also asking, would you like to be a brave firefighter someday and rescue people and animals from danger? Hmm, something to think about. Bear also hopes you come back soon for more adventures in helping others. Bye for now. Please subscribe.